Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your favorite Voxies Ambassador Zuljin here to bring you some more sponsored Voxies content. Today, we're going to be looking at some quick tips. I recently did a video that I did a lot of unlocking of uh, boxes for the Halloween event, and I had some questions about how I got it to easily work. The forge was working magically, and the answer is i have a trick and some of you may know this and some of you may not but with all the recent activity and surge in the market with the the bitcoin hype and stuff like that sometimes the networks are extremely busy and you'll get delays and it's hard to interact with the blockchain and so on and so forth so there's a little trick that you can do uh to to help you with this and it involves going into the settings so if you go to voxies.io or market.voxies.io and go to your profile here you're going to come to this screen and there is a settings a settings tab okay if you go to settings you can change it to dark or light you can also change trusted forwarder okay so trusted forwarder is kind of like a little bit of Voxy's magic that allows you to sign for transactions that don't cost you gas. Unfortunately, sometimes if you really, really want things to work and the forwarder is not doing what it's supposed to do or the market's extremely busy, it can be difficult to interact with the website. So I don't know the technical stuff behind it, okay? If you're a technical person and you know exactly how this works, you can list the, the 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 description or your explanation in the comments and i'll pin it so that people can see but for the most part trusted forwarder is an easy way to say that it is a way to get gasless transactions and right now you have a certain amount of free transactions every day okay in the, in the past, if you ever played Axie Infinity, they also had some free transactions that you can have per wallet on the um, on on their own specific blockchain. Okay, so we use Matic, we use Polygon, so you can't do that here. But what you can do is turn that off, and once it's off you're going to be able to sign transactions but pay gas fees and i'm going to show you what that looks like if you were to interact with the smart contract in any way right now in other words if you go to your profile here and you go to your collection and let's say that you want to list a rental okay i'm, I'm going to list uh this claymore of the storm for uh seven days at seven voxel okay just to see if anybody bites and then i'm going to hit create listing so typically it'll ask you just to sign here if you have that forwarder option selected and it doesn't cost you any gas but right now it says network is busy gas prices are high and estimate and estimates are less accurate so what you can do here is just pay the portion of matic to make the transaction go through as a matter of fact you can actually increase the amount of gas to make sure it goes through, okay? So if you hit confirm, it's gonna cost you roughly five cents in Matic or 0 0.073 Matic. And this updates every few seconds. You can see likely right here, it's 30 seconds and a few seconds ago, it said 15 seconds. So if we hit confirm, and we go back to the wallet, you can actually change this amount if you want as well. You can click on this to speed up and hit 10% increase or something like that and even make it aggressive. Now, it'll change the amount of gas that is being used, but it's very likely to happen in under 15 seconds. So this is a way to kind of force transactions through when you're having some difficulties with it. If you're if you're just fed up with the market and you're trying to get a, a rental uh, listed or a reservation made or even buy something that you don't want to get sold out from underneath you, Okay, this is gonna help you make those transactions. Any transaction on the marketplace. If you see a legendary Voxy that's listed for 5,000 Voxel, so that'd be an incredible deal, right? And you wanna jump on that. This is a way to make sure that you can speed through this. And what I would suggest is you can keep Trusted Provider on all the time, okay? And if you're having trouble with Trusted Provider, then you turn it off and you can always turn it back on and we'll show you this listing by the way afterwards so if i go back to profile okay i'm going to go into my um I i'm gonna rent out uh i don't know this let's let's do the shield okay let's do the shield and we'll do it for seven days as well and seven voxel again all right <laughs> these are really really cheap so if you see these rentals and you pick them up congrats okay so i'll hit create listing 
and is going to prompt me for a signature request. It's not asking me for gas fees, okay? It says you're signing this and it gives you the message or whatever, but it says only sign this message if you fully understand the content and the trust requesting site, which you should always look at before you sign stuff. But being that you are using the Voxies block, using the Voxies market and you're using the Polygon blockchain, you're probably familiar with seeing this. It shows your total Matic balance up here and it's not going to affect it if you go with this signature. You can reject this as well. And if you reject it, it's just gonna cancel the transaction. But if you sign, it's going to take a little bit. Now, you notice that the other transaction went through and it gave me a confirmation. It's going to do this as well, but not through the wallet like the gas transaction did because it's not taking any Matic. And you can see right here that it says your rental listing has been created, but it did not charge me any gas fees. So it didn't give me the little windows alert that you might've saw when MetaMask went off. And that's the difference between the transactions. So if you're having trouble with the marketplace, this is a good little workaround. And I would suggest making sure that you know how to do this, practice a little bit, just in case you see something that you really, really want to buy quickly if it gets listed low or whatever. And sometimes there is. Some of these new items, like all of the Halloween reward items are really, really good. All of the helms. And the greatest thing about this whole event is this is all limited edition stuff. So even if you get something that you don't know if you're gonna be able to use right now and you don't know if you wanna sell it, Maybe just hold on to it because there's going to be some really, really cool stuff you could do with some of these exclusive items in the future. If you've been around Voxies long enough, you've seen what the Christmas items have done and Santa hats and reindeer were some of the best items that were ever minted in the Voxie Tactics ecosystem. So do your own research, of course, and don't buy anything that you're not familiar with or that you don't have enough money for. But... If you really, really want to find out more about these items, do some research now and make sure you know what's on your shopping list and how to buy it quickly with this cool trick. I hope you learned something today, guys. Make sure to have a lot of fun in the Halloween event. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off and we'll see you next time.